Hi everybody, welcome to STEAM this week. Um, this week I'm in the kitchen because we're going to be mixing together some Play-Doh. Uh, so this one's really simple, you only need I think about four ingredients. So most people have this stuff at home. Um, so it'll be a, a fun one to make. You just need a Ziploc bag, a big gallon size works the best so you have some space to mix. Um, you're going to need a tablespoon, a half a cup, and a cup measurement. Um, so this is fun. We'll get to measure a little bit um, like we're cooking. You're going to need salt, food coloring. I'm going to use red for mine, but you can use whatever color you want. Um, some vegetable oil and some flour. So this is all you need to get started. So let's get started. We're just going to take our bag. We're going to start with one cup of flour. Uh, so I put the, the recipe in with um, the description for our program today. So don't worry about writing it down while I go. You can find it in there. So we're going to start with our one cup of flour. So just get it up to the top. Alright, flour's pretty messy. Get your one cup and you're just going to dump it into your bag. So just dump that one cup in there. And that's your first ingredient. So everything can just go all together at one time and then we're going to squish it up to make it into Play-Doh. So you've got one cup of flour, you're going to have a half a cup of salt. So you pull out your salt. We're just going to fill this half cup all the way up with salt. Yeah, so about a half to a full ratio. Flour to salt. I like this one because I get to feel like a chef while I'm doing some science. So get it up all the way to your half cup of salt. And that's going to go in your bag as well. So just dump that in there. Your next step is going to be a tablespoon of your vegetable oil. So grab your vegetable oil. And Uncap that, fill up a whole tablespoon. Alright, and pour that carefully into your bag. So it's going to make it really stick together and really become Play Doh that we can play with. Just close that up. Now you need a little bit less than a half a cup of water. So this one's not exact. So just get your half cup again, fill it a little bit less but almost a full half cup. But you can always add a little bit more if you think it needs a little bit more. So just a little less than a half a cup. Throw that in there. And that is actually all you need to make. You don't need food coloring, but it's much more fun this way. So I'm gonna add a couple drops of my red. Maybe I'll get like a pink color, it's kind of my goal. But a red would be fun too, so I'm just gonna drop those in there. Add in. Alright, and that's pretty much all you need. Make sure you seal it really tight. Try to get most of the air out so you can squish it. So you want to make sure you're really sealing that thing. So you don't want to make too much of a mess. So get all that air out, squish it, seal it, and this is the fun part. You get to shake it, you get to squish it, get it all together. Squish all your ingredients together. This is when it feels more like play experiment and like real cooking. You could always mix it, but this is a fun way to mix it for me. So you just want to get it in there. You're going to squish, squish, squish it up. You can get that color in there. You can always add more color, of course. Ah, and you can feel it turning into Play-Doh. It gets that texture that Play-Doh has. You don't want that powder in there though, so make sure it's really mixed up. You can always add more color once you get that. If it feels a little dry, go ahead and add some more water, a little bit more oil. If it feels a little bit too wet, just add some more flour. Mine's feeling a little dry, so I didn't add a little bit more water. So I only did less than a half cup. I'm going to do a little bit more. Maybe get a 
up to that for half cup. I'm kind of going to swirl it in there so it gets everywhere. Let's try that. Make sure you reseal it. Get it nice and sealed. It smells like Play-Doh. Get that nice and sealed in there. And just squish it. Just like you would do to play with it, you're going to squish it all together. Alright. So this is half the fun. Definitely feel free to tweak the recipe. Make it your own. You can make it a little more oozy Play-Doh or you can make it really thick Play-Doh. Up to you. You can't really do it wrong, so don't feel scared to test some stuff out. Alright, so mine's a pretty good texture now. So let me get it in there. And you can really squish it and build something with it. So I'm going to make a ball here. And there's my Play-Doh. So now you get to play with it, just like regular Play-Doh. You could roll it out, you could make a shape, cut it with your cutting tools or cookie cutters. But there you have it, you got your own Play-Doh. Good job.